And I give the floor to the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. You have the floor. Vice President, we'll commence the Commission of Inquiry's efforts to bring to light the blatant human rights violations in Aleppo. We remain alarmed by the patterns explicitly addressed in the Commission's report, highlighting how the Syrian government and its supporters deliberately targeted civilian infrastructure in Aleppo, namely hospitals, markets, residential buildings, and uh, bakeries. Yet again, the Commission's findings reflect how civilians, and particularly women and children, were the most disproportionately affected by the brutality of violence, including that exercised by anti-government armed groups. Mr. Pinero, the Commission's report tackles a myriad of blatant violations of international human rights and humanitarian law in Aleppo. However, it lacks a gendered perspective on the particular impact of the documented violations on women and does not include gender disaggregated data. In addition, the report does not refer to sexual and gender-based violence crimes despite local sources suggesting that threats and or the actual use of uh, sexual violence were utilized in Aleppo. Did the Commission receive such information? If so, could you please elaborate on why it was not reflected in the Commission's report? Mr. President, Wilf strongly believes that the situation in Aleppo is a protracted crisis and a manifestation of the collective failure and inaction by the international community. While numerous states are attempting to sponsor peace, most of them have regrettably been involved in worsening the situation, either by supporting war criminals or by engaging more significantly in arms transfers to Syria. We therefore echo the Commission's call on all states to immediately cease the supply of weapons to warring parties and curb arms proliferation in Syria. Despite this, the prospect of for accountability being dim on the sixth anniversary of the Syrian revolution, WILP will continue to call for justice for victims of crimes perpetrated in Syria by the government, armed groups and states such as the Russian Federation. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Thank you.